Okay, we're going to make a quick little video here of the garden, and I'm going to explain to how it works. If I can see, I cannot see in this, in this camera, but <clears throat> so this is half of my garden on the right, and then if I pan around here, if the sun don't mess it up, this is the other half over here. So this tree in this alley splits it down the middle. Half to the right, half to the left. The whole thing I think is about maybe a half acre, quarter of an acre or something. And then I have subplots. So right here, I'm expanding it a little bit to the back of Pop's mom and daddy's trailer here. I don't know if I'm even getting that in there. But, uh, okay, yeah, I see it now. Okay. So here I have, I think, seven or eight rows of llama beans. This is those Christmas llama beans. They're speckled. And that's one 500 square foot plot. You can see down the middle, this is where that plot ends. It gives me a space. Okay, I got a little battery, so I got to wrap this up. This is just regular, I think, Kentucky pole beans, the kind that everybody grows. They snap beans. You can see what they look like right there. Okay. This is the next crop of peas, Mississippi purple hulls or crowded peas. I got two rows here that I just planted. This is two rows that was planted about three weeks ago. Same thing, you'd see all the, all the peas on top and stuff right there. You can see them all up in there. They're full of, so I got two rows here, and hopefully we'll get a nice batch. This area here, I don't know, it's, it's, kinda, it's kind of um, shady from that big tree. You can see I loaded up with the rabbit manure. I make these furrows. I use the FAD system, F-A-D, for furrow, amend, and uh, the D is then put the drip drip tape. So here is uh, here's our turnips, one row of turnips, purple top turnips. This is a row of Georgia collard greens. That's just the regular cheap collard greens. We're gonna snip them off with the scissors and just eat them like that in salads and everything. This is mustard, a row of mustard. This is a row of spinach right here. And um, by the way, I was, I'm thinking about making that section, since it's shady, another end to that, that plot over there. I don't know how I'm going to work that out yet. Um, here is my drip system. I'm watering it right now, watering everything. This is all English peas, which you're looking at here. I don't know if that's, if all these, I mean, i, I got to put trellising up right here. But this is English peas. And then I'm coming here. Now, I just hooked up my system to see what's going on. And you can see they got leaks everywhere, so... That's why I hooked it up that way I could see them. In fact, let me turn this off right here while I'm at it. <clears throat> Shut it off. But um, as you can see, I got the furrows here. And I've got the drip tape laid in it here. And I've got it all the way back here. Man, I got holes everywhere in this thing. Just filling up water everywhere. Water shooting everywhere. Down here, I put this, the rows on one and two foot space. And I just added a couple of rows because this is all going to be carrots here. I'm going to put, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plant these carrots really, really heavy in here because we started, look at that big leak down there too. So always turn that drip tape on and run it so you can find every leak they got and then you can go back and plug them on. And then this side here is our, the opposite side, which I'm going I'm to plant nothing but onions, leeks, uh, bunching onions, shallots and everything in here. And then this section here is, a, I'm going to, do this up and put cover crops. I'm probably going to put those Austri Austrian winter peas along with vetch and some uh, oh, rye grass or something in there. This is pinto beans. I was told you couldn't grow them, but they, they're doing well. I don't know if you can see them on there. That's all pinto beans. This is all going to come down and not going to be here no more. This is the way I used to do it the old way. Now I'm going uh, from side to side instead of long. I used to make really long rows like 100 foot rows and stuff. And uh, so, right here, I tied this to mark. That's pinto beans from there that way. All of that's pinto beans. And it's full of pinto beans, man. And then this way is all kidney beans, red kidney beans, just a regular. And it's full of them too. So I was told you couldn't really grow them in this area that they had some kind of disease that they get. But so far, so good. Um, and that's it. I just laid down a system of uh, water, a watering system here to, to bring my water away. I ain't got to drag hoses. And this is one garden we got. We got four more like this. We don't use them all. Some of them are full of strawberries. We, got, we use most of them for vegetables though, uh, blackberries. And then we got the fig orchard and all that. So I'll be showing more of that in the future, but this is it. Yeah, 
this is the way we do it. And uh, mostly do everything by hand. We got two tractors, but we don't use them other than to till it up. And then we use, uh, and I'm gonna show that tomorrow. We use that handmade uh, wheel hoe and stuff like that. So uh, that's it. And I uh, will try to explain more a little bit, show more what we do tomorrow when we get a little more time. This thing is shaking really bad. So. Uh, 